We're going to do a short eight minute mobility sequence today, focusing on the hips and what you need is a yoga mat, a small towel, and maybe a yoga block. And we're going to start by lying face down on the mat, forehead on the backs of the hands, and we're going to do something called croc breathing, inhaling through the nose all the way from the pelvis to the shoulders and exhaling fully thinking about melting your body into the ground holding at the end or the bottom of your exhale for a few seconds before you take your next inhalation. And that pause, that hold might allow you to take a greater inhalation on your next breath. So go at your own pace, a few more breaths here, inhaling from the pelvis to the shoulders, exhaling fully and pausing for a few seconds. And we'll come into quadruped, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, bring the elbows down to the ground, and we're gonna focus on the pelvis. So we're gonna think about our back pockets and pulling the back pockets up towards the ceiling, and then tucking and pulling our back pockets forwards towards our knees. And we're just going to go back and forth, tucking, and reaching, focusing on those back pockets, reaching towards the ceiling, and then being pulled forwards towards the front of the knees. Pay attention, see if one side feels similar to the other, if you find any sticking points, and if anything feels good or you feel that you need to stay in a position for a bit longer, just pause this video and do a few more repetitions. And now we're going to come up into quadruped, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and we're going to do full spinal waves or cat camel, starting at the pelvis and rolling all the way up the spine and then coming back to the pelvis, waving up and down the pelvis and the spine, thinking about strings attached to your back pockets, pulling them up towards the ceiling and then tucking those back pockets and pulling them towards your knees. And now we're just going to add in the rest of the spine, tucking and reaching forwards and up towards the ceiling. And now we're gonna do some rock backs, pulling the hips back towards the heels. I'm grabbing the mat, I'm pulling myself forwards, and then I'm pushing the mat away from me as I sit back. So the upper body is really active with this, pulling yourself forward and pushing yourself back. You wanna imagine having a glass of water or a glass of whiskey on your back, and you're trying not to spill it, so you're holding your tension through the torso as you rock. And now we're going to come into a half kneel position. You can take a towel and place it underneath your knee if you find it uncomfortable. You can also untuck the back foot. So I'm going to bring that back pocket towards my front knee as I rock my whole body forwards and backwards. I have that left glute squeeze as I tuck the pelvis underneath me to lock everything in place. And my whole body is rocking as one hips and shoulders move together. My front foot, I think of my tripod foot, so the base of the big toe, base of the small toe, and the heel are grounded and glued to the ground as you rock. And now we're gonna do some rotations. So I'm gonna make a nice big circle with my arm. I'm gonna follow my fingertips with my eyes, and I'm twisting through the upper back. I have my hand pressed into my right knee and the knee pressed into my hand to create a little bit of tension and lock me into place as I do my rotations. Nice big circles, I'm imagining the upper back as a wet towel that I'm trying to wring out as I twist. You can even push into the wall to create a little bit more tension as you do your rotations. Now we're going to come into a Spider-Man lunge, hands onto the ground. If this is a hard position for you to get into, you can elevate the hands with your block. And now we're going to straighten that back leg and pull the knee back down to the ground. 
as you're extending the hip or straightening the leg, you're going to think about pushing the mat away from you as you come into a high lunge. And we're going to switch sides now. And again, if you want to spend more time in one position, just click pause on the video and stay there for a few more repetitions. This is your own practice and it can be as long or as short as you want. So we're going to get into another half kneel position here. I'm using the towel underneath my knee. I'm going to tuck that right hip underneath of me, bringing the back pockets towards the front of the knee. I'm applying a little bit of pressure with my left hand. I'm pushing it into the thigh as I rock forward. That front tripod foot is stable. If I start to feel my heel lift as I go forward, it's probably signaling that that's about the end of the motion for me. The knee can track wherever you'd like it to track. You can explore that. It doesn't have to go fully straight as long as you keep that tripod foot glued down. And we're going back to our rotations. Left hand pushing into left knee and they're fighting each other, creating some tension as I follow the fingertips with my eyes. And imagine that wet rag as my spine, wringing it out as I twist. And you can even push into the wall if you'd like a bit more support or tension. We'll get into our Spider-Man lunge. You can elevate the hands if you need to. I'm going to pull my knee down. It doesn't have to touch the floor. And kicking the mat away from me. Pulling down and kicking the mat away from me as I extend that hip. You can try to get a nice squeeze of that glute as you push the mat away from you. And we're going to finish off doing downward dog. So pull yourself into a tall plank, push the mat away from you as you go into your downward dog and pull yourself forward. Active hands, just like we had with our rock back, pushing the mat away from you and pulling yourself forward. So you're still thinking about those back pockets being pulled by the strings up towards the ceiling when you go into your downward dog and then tucking the pelvis as you come back into a nice strong tall plank. And that is our eight minute mobility sequence for the hips.